We believe the co company different from the Wall Street. We believe customer number one, employee number two, shareholder number three. Customer one, employee two, two shareholder, shareholder number three. three. Yeah, are we, again, this is my religion, and you know, if you, it's the customer that pay us the money. It's the employees that drive the innovation. It's the shareholder, and the shareholder always say, you know, I, I remember the day before we IPO, and a lot of people say, Jack, can I give us the shares? We were long-term shareholders. But when the crisis came, these guys run as soon as, you know. They, they ran away. They ran away. <laughs> my people <laughs> stayed, customers stayed. We know the only thing I tell you guys, for the first three years, we did not have even one dollar revenue from our business. But why it keeps us going ahead, going forward? Because I received lots of email of thanks from the customer. They say, this is such a great thing. If you can keep on doing that, we cannot pay you, but this thing helped us. If you keep on helping us, one day you will be successful. And I believe this. And I want people here to let you know that we are at the best time of this century. And I believe one thing. I told my team in my apartment, we have to prove ourselves because if we if we can be successful, 80% of young people can be successful. We don't have a rich father, we don't have a powerful uncle. We do not get one dollar from government, we do not get one dollar from the banks. We start from zero. So we have to work hard. It's not a proof of us, it's a proof of our generation. It's proof of the internet power. So this is I want to I always keep on sharing with the young people. And the other thing I believe always is small is beautiful. If nobody help the small guys, we can use internet to help the small guys. Because big company, SOE, which is the business owned by government, they taken care of. They were taken care of by government. The multinational companies, they're taken care of by Wall Street, by the uh, money. But only small business, nobody's taking care of. If we can create values for them, then we can be successful. Our philosophy is always this. If you can help others successful, and then you will be successful. I'm not in top law, but I'm the person who believe the future, believe the young people, believe the innovation. I learn my English. I learn how to think use my own brain. When I was young, I went to Hangzhou West Lake. You know, we have a West Lake. There's a hotel. Many foreign visitors visit there. And I went there every morning, five o'clock, to practice my English. The foreign visitors come, I practice my English. I don't know why at that time. But I found everything the foreign visitors told me are so different from the things my parents told me, my teacher told me, and the newspaper I read. So since then I think everything used my own brain to think about. It. Is that true? Is that an opportunity inside? Is there anything I can do that make the difference? Think about this. And then when you think about this, start to do it. I saw a lot of people, young people, have fantastic ideas every evening. But in the morning, they go to the office same again. Make the move. Make the action. To everybody, to any person, tomorrow is new. And believe one thing, this is also another last advice I want to give you. You have to work very hard. Right? Either work for the others or work for yourself. And I choose the way, work my, for myself. What kinds of business ideas have you said no to? I'm saying no to a lot of ideas because as a CEO, I have to say no to opportunities. Because if I say yes, I probably get 5,000 opportunities every day. But whether yes or no, everything based on the mission that we helping doing business easier. If it's on that, we'll consider. If oh, somebody comes and say, can you, we will, you don't know, have this deal, we'll make a lot of money, I'm not interested. I want to say one thing, as just the general secretary said, the world is full of troubles. Today the world is full of complaints. 
I complained when I was 20 years old. Bill Gates took all the, you know, Microsoft, IBM, Cisco. They took their big companies. And to us, oh, we are hopeless because they're too big. <laughs> we complain. But now I never complain. I said, well, I'm a big fat too. <laughs> And I taught one to tell the young people, when most people complain, where the opportunity is. People start to complain, some people complain, some start, people start to change themselves, change the others. Where the opportunity is, is where the complaints are. Where the trouble, where is the opportunity. And I always believe that. And this is how we've gone through. I applied for Harvard for 10 times, all failed, they don't even want to see me, you know, terrible. <laughs> and I, I think that is a normal life, right? And I, I believe that um, it was so difficult at that time, I was so frustrated because I taught in the university, my pay was $10 a month, it was not easy, but I believe that something, something is waiting for me there. And I have to work hard to prove myself. So that was the tough experience. And I never thought I was smart. Nobody believed that I could be successful because everybody said, well, this guy think differently, think crazily, you know, they think about something that never worked.